Hello, my name is Chris Boyce and I work at Nexperia's Silicon Power MOSFET and Gallium Nitride division. I'm here today to introduce you to our new high performance Gallium Nitride packaging technology known as CCPAC 1212. Copper clip based packages are superior in terms of on resistance, in terms of minimizing the uh, parasitic inductances, in terms of the uh, maximum current rating, and most importantly, in terms of the thermal performance. But building a copper clip based package for our gallium nitride technology is more complex than building it for our traditional silicon MOSFETs. And that's because we use what's called a cascode device inside this package. So we, as well as the gallium nitride uh, hemped uh, semiconductor device, we also package it with a low voltage silicon device in series. Gallium nitride technology is a normally on technology. We like to produce products that are normally off. So by putting a low voltage silicon MOSFET in series, then we can produce a product that is, that is normally off. But it means that we need to take account of both devices inside the package. So let me, uh, let me open up and see, we can start to see what's going, uh, what's going on here. So here we have the internal construction of the device. On this pin here, this is the gate of the device, which is connected to the silicon cascode low voltage MOSFET. You can't see it uh, at the moment. We'll see that when we, uh, when we flip the device over. Here we have the source of the, of the device um, connected to, uh, through these pins out to the PCB, but also we have these pillars that connect to the, um, the top side uh, pad there on the, on the top side cord device. And on this side, uh, we have the drain connected again to the PCB. As you can see, everything is copper clip based, no wires uh, at all. You can see now I've uh, deconstructed, the, deconstructed the model um, and we've turned it uh, upside down. So actually, as we saw previously, um, this was the, the top side uh, of the device. If we turn it over and we start with the, the copper pad there that, that, that feeds through to, the, uh, to that side. Um, and the first thing that we would do is we would lay down some solder and we would connect the, uh, the uh, gallium nitride hemp device. We would then lay down some more solder and lay on top of it the silicon MOSFET device. So the gallium nitride is a, is a lateral device so that the, uh, the current is flowing across. And the silicon MOSFET is a uh, vertical device so the current goes through the, uh, the device onto the surface of the gallium nitride. In order to connect the gate of the gallium nitride through to, the, uh, to this surface here, we actually take some vias that go through the, uh, the hemp device and allow that to make contact with the, uh, the pad there. So this would be done in a number of steps, the solder down, gallium nitride device down, some more solder, and the low voltage silicon MOSFET uh, casco device on top. Then we add, uh, actually, a, not in this model, but in the manufacturing flow, we add it at one step, the, uh, all of the copper clip uh, uh, construction gets added at the same time. So the drain fits in here like, uh, like that. The gate connects to the, the cascode device, as we can see there. The source, um, again with these, with these pillars, because we need um, uh, the source uh, to, uh, to connect not just to the, uh, to the drain of, of the low voltage device but also to connect to this, uh, the, the top tab. These pillars are connected and are soldered down through there and we end up with the device looking, uh, looking something like that. And so once the copper clip elements are added to the construction the final step is to encapsulate the, uh, the whole mechanism with uh, injection molded plastic. So we take uh, this piece here and we add it out like that. In reality, of course, the, uh, all, of the, all of the black that you see here, the, the injection molded plastic would all be, added at, uh, all be added at one time. So essentially, we have two packages in one. We have the CC Pack 1212 regular, which is where the, uh, the, the leads are bent down, connected to the PCB, and the source tab is on the underneath, taking the heat out into the PCB. 
or we have the CCPAC 1212i, I for inverted, where the leads are bent as they're shown in this model and the source tab is exposed to allow a heat sink to be added and the heat is then taken away from the PCB, away from other maybe uh, critical components uh, and elsewhere out into the system. If you find this interesting, please visit our website nexperia.com forward slash ganfets for more information. Thank you very much.